Hello, hello. Welcome to Blossoming Storytime. We are just excited to meet our special guest reader that will be joining us in just a moment. And what a blossoming reader this person is. We'll be on just a, a moment. As uh, soon as they can get in, we will get started. So come on in and enjoy this very special story time today. Okay. Happy weekend to everyone, boys and girls. Stay tuned because December 18th, we will be back again with Miss Nolia, myself, and Daisy for a very special children's segment. That's December the 18th, Saturday at 2 o'clock p.m. Okay, so let's see if we can get our reader in. I think he is coming. Our guest is coming, okay. Hello, let me turn this music down. Let's see. Hello, Jay. Hey. Let me okay. see if let I can get my I volume can... working. Just a moment. It's working. Yes. You can hear me? Okay, hello, Jay, how are you? Good. Say, hello. Say hello to the boys and girls. Hey, boys and girls. Awesome. Do you like to read, Jay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and give us the title of your story and start to read whenever you're ready. We're excited and waiting to hear your story. Yes, ma'am. The title of my book is Austin Plays Fair by Tony and Rowan Dungey. Okay. Austin loves playing football. He loved running down the field, catching passes, and throwing spirals. But there was one thing about playing with the Trenwood Tigers Austin did not like. The Trenwood Tigers had, had lost six games in a row. Don't worry, said Austin's dad. You just need a little more practice. Have fun, said Austin's mom. Having fun is more important than winning. Austin tried to have fun as the Tigers warmed up for their next game, but he still wished the Tigers could, could win at least once. Coach Tony blew his whistle. Okay, Tigers, a uh, huddle up. He called and the team obeyed. We know the, the Greenville G Gators are a tough team, said Coach Lauren. And we may have lost a few games lately, said Coach Tony. But what do we do when we lose? Get up, get over it, and try again, Yogi Tigers. Coach Tony smiled. That's right, 
So let's get out there with a last thumbs up. The coach is headed for the sidelines. Wow. Can you, can you cut your TV down, please, so we can hear? Because the TV's coming through over your story. Okay, go ahead. Continue to read. Yes, and hey guys said uh, Bryce when the coaches were were gone. I know a trick that can help us win. The the team exchanged excited looks. What is it? asked Carson. Tell us, Bad Jaden. Tuck your flag in like this. Bryce showed showed them. His flag belt. Now the other team can't get it. Akiko frowns. That's not allowed. Bryce wasn't uh, listening. He tucked on his flag. See, even if they catch up to me, they won't be able to take it. Austin's stomach felt funny, but, but, but that's she. Bryce shook his head. My, my brother says everyone does stuff like that. Aren't you tired, tired of, of losing? He pleaded. The Tigers looked at the Tigers looked at each other. Well, if everybody does it, said said Jason, and the players began tucking their flags into their belts. I just want to win once, thought Austin, and he tucked his flag in too. The Gators started out strong, making two touch touchdowns in the first half. Re remember what I told you. We whispered Bryce in the huddle. Carson snapped the ball to to Akiko. She lobbed it to Austin, and he took off down the field. On his left, a gator come, came streaking toward Austin. Hey, don't forget to show us the pictures. Oh. <laughs> awesome. The gator caught up with Austin at the five yard line and grabbed for his flag, but it stayed tucked tightly in his belt. Touchdown! yelled the referee as Austin crossed the goal line. That night at dinner, Austin's dad smiled as he slapped an extra big hamburger to Austin's plate. You must be hungry after that win. <laughs> I knew all your hard work would pay off, said Austin's mom. The Gators didn't pull a single tiger flag. Suddenly, Austin wasn't very hungry. And Austin still had knots in his stomach as the Tigers warmed up for their next game. Everyone said the Mustangs were the best team in town. 
Great game last week, Tigers, said Coach Lawrence. But don't forget, added Coach Train, winning isn't the most important part of football. Austin raised his hand. My mom says the most important part is to have fun. Coach Tony smiled. Well, it's important to have fun, but it's even more important to, to play a game you, you can be proud of. That's right, said Coach Lauren. If you're done, if you've done your best and played fair, you can feel proud of every game, even the ones you lose. Don't forget to tuck in your flags, said Bryce, as soon as the coaches left the huddle. Austin crossed his arms. No, he, he said loudly. Everyone looked at him. <laughs> Everyone looked at him. Thank you. You're welcome. Why not? asked Bryce. It worked great. Austin shook his head. I want to play a game that uh, we can be proud of. Like Coach said, the, the Tigers, the other Tigers nodded. Me too, said Jalen. No more cheating, said Carson. Bryce looked unhappy, but he didn't argue. The Tigers played better than they ever had before. With two minutes left, they needed just with two minutes left in the game, they needed just one more touchdown to the fair. And square. Kiko dropped back to pass. The Mustang were, were, were closing in fast. Bryce was wide open. He jumped to catch her pass and took off down the field. Austin followed blo blocking for him. Wait, and followed blocking for him. Bryce was almost to the goal when a girl in a Mustang jersey cut in front of him. The Mustang player yanked on Bryce's leg, but, but it would, would not budge. With the final burst of speed, Bryce broke free and ran into the end zone, punching, to, punching the air to celebrate the winning touchdown. Touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> the Tigers rushed onto the field cheering, but Austin did not feel like running anymore. Why so glum, Austin? The uh, referee asked. Austin looked across the field and his teammates celebrated. And he took a deep breath. I need to tell you something. He knew why Bryce had been able to score. He had cheated and took in his flag.
after the game, Austin and his family went out, out for ice cream. I know it was uh, probably hard for you when the referee took away the touchdown, said Mom. But, but, we, but, but we're so proud of you for being honest. You sure are, said, said Dad. How do you feel? Pretty good, said Austin, licking the drops from his chocolate cone. Even though you you lost X Dad, Austin and I, it would it would have felt good to win, but it feels better to play fair. He took another look of ice cream and grind, and next time we're, we're going to do both. That was the end of the story, boys and girls. Awesome. Thank you, Jay. That was a great story. Don't you agree, boys and girls? Let's take a closer look at the story. Austin plays fair. You have questions, boys and girls. And Jay, since you read the story for us, you can help us with some of these questions. Who is the main character in this story? The main character in this story is Austin. Okay. And what did Austin love to do? Austin loved to play football. Okay. Um, what is the name of Austin's team? The name of Austin's team is the Tigers. Okay. Uh, let me ask this. Why was Austin not happy when they won the game? Austin wasn't happy because that wasn't the game that uh, he, he could be proud of. What do you mean it wasn't a game he could be proud of? It wasn't a game that, that like he was happy for. Okay. Okay. So when the team won the next game, what did Austin decide to do, Jay? Austin decided to tell Austin decided to tell Bryce not to tuck in his flag no more okay and so when they won the game anyway um what did he decide to do when he saw the team rejoicing after winning he decided to tell the referee and the referee had took away the touchdown wow so how did austin feel after the win was taken from him and his team austin felt happy because that was a game that he, he could be proud of. Okay. So in other words, he felt proud even though he lost the game. He felt proud because like you said earlier, he wanted to play a game that was honest, huh? Yes, ma'am. And what was it that Austin's mother said to him? Austin's mother said, having fun is more important than winning. Oh, so boys and girls, this is a, a story. Austin Plays Fair is a story that we can learn a lot from today. As uh, long as you are doing your best and having fun and playing fair, you can be proud. Whether you win or don't win, you can still be proud. Right, uh, Jay? Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you so much for being our blossoming uh, story time uh, guest today. We have enjoyed your story, and we are looking forward to seeing you again another time. Boys and girls, would you like to see Jay come back again? Okay, so we're going to just give a little exit music, something that's got a little sports to it, as we get ready to say bye to all the boys and girls. Okay, remember that having fun and playing fair and being honest it's more important than anything, right? So, Jay, can we get you to move a little bit before we get out of here?
Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you next time. Let's wave bye-bye to the boys and girls, Jay. Thank you for being our guest again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.